If I've said it once, I'll say it again. The problem with society these days is nobody drinks from the skulls of their enemies anymore. But you can fix that today with one simple god tool. Excuse my sandstorm in the background, just adding some ambiance to my collection of beautiful skulls. Don't be one of these people if you're on an official server, just littering skulls everywhere. But if you do happen to need them for a little bit of decoration, maybe a little bit of sorcery learning, I got you. You will need to learn Zach Zath. Zath is a very easy to learn religion. I have a little series of where to learn all the different religions. Or you can check out my all recipe guides. I believe it is featured in there also. Make yourself a Zath knife. Pretty cheap. 15 iron and 5 sticks. You can make it in any tier of altar. You don't need the tier 3 because in fact you need it to gather zeal also. But it has another secret use. You can also make the advanced dagger which requires 13 manifestations of zeal. Probably not that worth it considering it's pretty cheap to just repair these guys or craft a few. But for today's purposes I did spawn in a blessed d dagger. Now we are gonna be looking out for spiders. There are a bunch of different spider locations and you can in fact also hack up boss spiders. So this spot here is the Silkwoods. It's a great spot to get Gossamer, Ica because of the amount of spiders and also randomly a lot of coal. We are over here in M4 at the Silkwood. If you pick these by hand you get a little bit of Gossamer but if you hack them up with a sickle you'll get even more and because they're a one hit node if you have efficient harvesting on you'll get double the resources which is nice and I highly advise having that on for doing this type of harvesting anyway because well you're gonna get a lot more. Um, for some reason, you can't find any spiders. Usually there's a lot more. Don't know, probably a me issue and lag and stuff. We just place a million skulls. But the boss spiders also will give a key, which is nice. And uh, some demon blood, which is also nice. And these guys are pretty easy to kill as far as spiders go. Oh, boss is rather. Um, I'm in god mode, obviously. We have a little Neebs gaming. If you haven't seen this, we've got a little tribute which is nice to the fellow in there that um, sadly passed away. Back to the spiders. Once you track them down, um, you want to kill them. Usually they'll come to you. I can't even hit them because they're guttering away. And you can use a pick, a sickle, or a zaff knife on them. A pick will give you predominantly more ichor most of the time, but often a lot of chitin or chitin. A sickle will give you more gossamer, and the zaff knife will give you feral flesh, but also it's gonna give us some zaff bags. I'm gonna gather up a few of those and then we'll open up a bunch and see what we don't get. I just spawned in a bunch quickly and then I will go over a fair few of the different spider locations that you can go farming for this because there's a lot of them. So, so far we're getting a decent amount of Ica, getting some skulls there, 105 skulls, another 100 skulls. All these dead animals, you can often get dead horses from here as well, which is nice if you're leveling up blood sorcery on AOC. You haven't played with the mod. In fact, I don't even know if that's a requirement anymore because they changed the mods. Could be giving out false information. But all these animals can also be put in a squisher and give regular blood. And if they happen to be like a bird, they'll give some feathers. If they're this guy, they'll probably give some ichor. And generally a type of hide of some sort, but not always. So yeah, that's a lot of skulls. We already had a fair few, but now we have more. We also have a decent chunk of bone, a bunch of dead animals. And yeah, this will not be including every single spider spawn because we'll be here all day basically. But I will go over the god spawns, or spider spawns rather, three skulls, and my favorite places to get them from these guys. So we're here at Executioner's Entrance or whatever it's called. And uh, this place is great early game because these guys usually kill them. And then you just come along and boop, boop. And you can get even more if you happen to use something like a pick first. So if we go pick... And then I believe it's actually picked twice. And then we get the Zath knife. We'll often get double if we have efficient harvest, but you want it to be on the last hit. So use a pick or a sickle twice first, and then your Zath knife, and that'll give you the bag on the last hit. Same principle when harvesting zeal or so. Yeah, a lot of spiders in this particular location, and we are just here at Death Whisper Ruins, Executioner's Entrance. There's two entrances to it. On the line of I5 and 6. In 7J, we are going to find ourselves a boss spider. We used to have a box here, no box here anymore. But you will get a key for farming dungeons from them. If you're lurking around H5, you'll often find a lot of spiders around here. Also a lot of coal. Spiders and coal seem to go hand in hand a lot. We're also going to find ourselves another boss spider. 
I don't know why all the baby spiders are being like this, but usually there's a lot more around. Maybe they're fighting everyone over here. You can sometimes find them in camps, but this area is pretty dang huge. You tend to find a lot down this little bit. And a lot of gossamer. Pretty decent area. Continues even around here. In this camp, you can in fact find name people at, so it's worth having a dip into also. And yoke priests. That's for a different video. Making your way up the river. Around 5 EF on the way to Skitter Skittering Cavern, we are also going to find a bunch of just spiders chilling on the outside and they're often fighting crocodiles and you can often find already killed ones if you're not up to the level of fighting these guys yet. But inside the cave itself, we are going to find a lot. Plus this is also a good place to come spend your skeleton key as you don't really have to fight the spider but it's good to as she also drops potentially in the Namidian helm and some other fun things dropped that for me that time. But she also has a key box right behind her. Oop. Did still give me the key. If it doesn't, that's outrageous. Well, you gotta use, <laughs> use the pick to get the key. I got myself an unintelligible. Making our way over to F7, we are going to find this fingery cave. Woo. On the outside, we can find an emote. Bunch of emotes, in fact. This is also one of the entrances to the cave where you can learn the Zath religion, but you cannot exit out through this cave. As you can see, a lot of, lot of spiders in here. Bunch of them. You're gonna jump down here and probably die because it's pretty damn far. And you can no longer climb in here. Kill her. There's also a skeleton key box in here, which is nice. The Zath teacher right there. And the exit or entrance to the cave, depending on which way you've decided to go. Also a bunch of crystal. And if you didn't know, they've now fixed it. So we can in fact mine crystal again with these picks, or at least allegedly they did. Maybe these are counted as small crystals. The big crystals, apparently I can, but apparently I can't. Giving out false information again. Maybe these are all little crystals. Anyway, bring mass call here and you get a lot of crystal. I digress. Along with a couple of other places scattered about the lands, you can also visit a fair few dungeons and get your spider hacking needs done there. Our first is Khalil's Stronghold, located near the Brimstone Lake and the Brimstone Obelisk in 8B of the line of seven and eight blah, 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 really go into the dungeon if you already have the key you don't need to fight the first bosses pretty good looting in here from the boxes though so i kind of advise um touching these as you can see that has 14 dragon powder in it oh, now the six dragon powder already got 20 bombs thick they often have the scraps for making the godbreaker armor in them like this but we'll make all our way all the way through go past these guys if you already have the key which i do don't mess around with all these guys unless you are farming them, then feel free. Go through this crack and then you don't need to kill the other skeleton boss. We can also find a lot of black ice here. I'm mining these guys. But there's also a lot of spiders. There are a few skeleton key boxes in this dungeon, so it's a good place to come farm that also. And a fair few bosses to farm for those keys. Eventually I will actually come across some of these spiders I'm talking about. There's some demon turtles, some demon dogs. Spideys! These caves are all full of different things spiders and a couple of mammoths and some bone dragons yep. we also have the wine cellar dungeon located in waterside at sepimeru in 7b also so they're quite close to each other make our way all the way in you can kill him for a truncheon you can tame these guys and take them out as far as i know no longer fly directly down those bits which is kind of annoying for me Woo. make our way across <laughs> But there are a fair few bosses to fight in here, which can give cool stuff. But we want to make our way as far this way as we can. Eventually stick to your right and you will eventually find it. Go up this little hill. And when we get to the fork in the road, go into the cave. This cave is going to have a queen spider, but also a bunch of other spiders. This is a very good dungeon to come farm for bark, as up there there's a lot of bark trees. It's also great for bone and... Uh, the glowing blue powder essence stuff that you need. I can't even remember its name right now. Good brain. But yeah, lots of good things to farm in this dungeon. Kill her. No box for her in here though, but that's okay. She has a lot of other cool boxes. And if you are crafting Zath Zeal, you can in fact craft the armor and it doesn't require Zeal to craft, but does require a lot of silk. So you can get a lot, a lot of silk in a very small space here, which is very nice also. A few more boxes full of goodness. 
The Black Keep dungeon also has a bit of a spidery secret. If we go in here, we can find a room that's not often ventured into. You will need a key. You can find that key by heading that way. But what we're going to do is head this way. Actually, where are we heading? I need to go up a level. Now I'm going this way. Aha. Uh -huh. So basically, this is the door we go in after we have the key. We can uh, make our way up to the guy. This is the door that we come out of once we've gotten the key just here. And if we went straight ahead, we also need the key. Warn him in. I do have a separate guide going through the entire dungeon if you are a little bit lost. We'll make our way into this room. It's a really good dungeon for coming and farming materials, so probably come do that anyway. A lot of spiders in here. Some materials. Yeah. You can find a spider boss halfway down in the dregs dungeon over here in D4. One of my least favorite places to come for spider is because there's also a lot of locusts about, but there's a lot of spiders. They're basically all around in the K9, 8 area, L, this little area. Tends to have a fair few spiders at it. Like right down by the obelisk at the upper staging area. So it is a quite an easy place to spawn into and get a couple as there's often a map room here. And you can get the locusts and their eggs. Get a lot of poison from them. And if you really feel like it or you're just trying to travel north or maybe you just need a little bit of crystal. Coming into this mouth of something to Kettowish. The passage. Ooh. You can climb down here quite easily and mine this crystal. There is a locust bust in here that you need to kill if you want to remove your bracelet. Well, you don't have to. There's other ways to get the thing, but it also drops from in here. And a lot of spiders. So many spiders. Ooh. And a locust boss. Die. The broken scar stone piece. That. Somewhere slightly less foreboding over in the jungle, we have the O6 Island, where we will find a spider queen who will drop a key. There's a couple of traps down here that we can get some fishes out of, a gold and silver box, and a lot of spiders all around on the island. You can loot these and get some free food. Good little place to come as it's pretty close to the obelisk just over here. But there are often people <laughs> built huge bases around on PvP servers. And last but not least, well, actually definitely not last, there's definitely more places to get spiders. But one of my other places I like to come personally is the correct dungeon over at Mechmosis's Spire. During the time of the caravan events for the Catan caravans, you can come here and gather up a bunch of ancient obelisks from the Magi Skulls and the End Karak Skull. If the event is not going on, the Karak Skull can be traded in over there by the set religion teacher for some fun goodies. You can summon this with, let me leave creative. You can rename all of these things, which is, I find always so funny. For 30 blood crystal, you summon the dungeon and one of the first phases is a whole lot of spiders and a bunch of darkness. So definitely bring some light and some star metal arrows in a normal bow or a star metal bow and star metal arrows, but really just need star metal arrows. Or some type of star metal weapon does a lot of damage to the golems in there. And essentially, you just gotta like kill them and get a bunch of more blood crystal, kill the magis, get a whole bunch of skulls, kill the spiders, kill the young guy, be my dungeon guide. And before long, you will have more skulls than you know what to do with. But you'll also get a bunch of fun things like the bone and the ichor and the blood that comes from squishing all of these things and the subsequent byproducts like leather and feathers and whatever. If you found this information informative, smash that like button. If you're not already, consider subscribing. It means a bunch. Stick around for one of these next guides on how to farm in Conan Exiles. Until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.